Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the 10 year YouTube celebration. Today is day 11. On the last one, I talked about that Let's Talk About The Last of Us video that I recorded back in 2018. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at another video I recorded in 2018. And this one is a big one. It was when I finally rebranded the channel to be known as The Geeky Comrade, what it's now known as today and has been since 2018, since August 6th, 2018. The date, August 6th that is, that we're building to with all of the 10 year celebration videos. The date of my first video, which of course was August 6th, 2014. But yeah, so on another anniversary of it, uh, I decided to rebrand the channel officially, and I made this video talking about what I was gonna do for the rebranding on July 9th, 2018. And I went through, watched it like I did for the last talk of the last of this video, made some little bullet points and talking points based on what I said at the time. And the first thing I wanted to mention here was right away I said in the rebranding video that it pains me to make this video, and I don't quite understand why. I don't even remember if I really felt that way. I almost felt like I almost felt like I may have just been a bit dramatic. Maybe intentionally being dramatic with it? I don't know. I cuz like there was no reason t for me to feel any pain towards that decision. It was something that I thought about and wanted to do and had decided to do it. You know, without anyone else's input. I just I wanted to do that. Um, I wanted to move away from having my name attached to the channel name and um, wanted to come up with an actual channel name and oh, come up with an actual way to brand myself on YouTube. So yeah, like the whole it pains me to make the video, I don't know why I said it at the time unless I was just intentionally being dramatic, but I don't know. And then my next point was basically uh, I wanted to stop doxing myself, which, not entirely true, I mean, it was true, but it's not, like, I didn't even, like, consider that doxing myself, I just had, like, my last name attached to the channel name, and I just didn't want that anymore. It wasn't even particularly, because I felt like I was doxing myself, you know? Not at all. But I just thought it was a funny point and a funny way to word it, so, <laughs> yeah. But then, that's when I... But then, next, I finally said the new channel name, which is now, of course, the current channel name, it has been since 2018, still is that way now, five years later, and that's the Geeky Comrade, as we know. And then, I talked about just ba basically wanting to expand the channel from what it was, and I said I didn't want to have just wrestling and Let's Plays, um... Which at the time it was more let's play than wrestling. But I wanted to like fully expand it, do a bunch of stuff, and make it like, again, as the old graphic says, a center for all geek content. Did I do that? Uh. No, 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 I really didn't. I didn't, I didn't do that. In fact, if, if we want to be honest, I pretty much just went back to doing exactly what I was doing previously. I even have a video that I recorded and never went up. It's like, I've, I've had this recorded for years and I never uploaded it. But it was me just sitting down, just talking about how I felt like exactly that. I, I just wasn't in a good spot mentally. I, I didn't know what to do. I was just kind of lost and I just sat down from the camera and just started recording and said a bunch of stuff, you know? That was on my mind at the time, and that came up, and it's like... I... And I remember, I was gonna title it, Did I Even Really Rebrand? And... Obviously the answer is yes, I did, but that was a serious thing at the time. I genuinely felt like I didn't. And for a little bit, it kind of... To be blunt, it kind of fucked me up. Because I wanted to do all these things, I had all these cool ideas, and then I basically just defaulted back to what the channel was 
even before I actually started doing Let's Plays seriously. And then the wrestling content took over again, even the Let's Plays started suffering, to the point where, ever since then, I haven't been consistent with a Let's Play at all. To be completely honest. Um, so yeah, that, that, that fucked me up at the time. I've since grown... I've since grown more and learned to accept it, um, and accept where the channel sits now. But yeah, at the time, I was not in a good spot. But then I said, one of the first series that I wanted to do was going to be a crushing stealth let's play of Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which was directly inspired by Ludi XP, aka Lucy. Love her content, like, whether it be Locking It Down with Lucy, Road to Platinum 100, the Platinum Grand Slam now, which I think she's doing for the second year in a row. Um, etc. 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 Great. I mean, I found her a little bit before then, maybe 2017, 2018, something around there. And I found her through like the Uncharted uh, stealth guides. And yeah, so because of like how cool her Uncharted stealth guides were, I wanted to do a crushing stealth let's play of Lost Legacy, because I really like Lost Legacy. And. I can tell you, that kind of happened. Kind of. I started it, and then didn't finish it. Despite the fact that I had already beaten the game on Crushing, uh, I dropped the difficulty down and then finished it. So I did not do the entire thing as a Crushing Stealth Let's Play. So yeah. Then I brought up how I'd been wanting to do a a stealth guide for The Last of Us on Grounded Mode, which is something that I have still been planning for quite a while. I still want to do it, but <laughs> guess what? It's never happened. I, w I do still want to do it at some point. I, I love that idea a lot. Um, I just need to actually sit down and start playing through those encounters again and finding consistent strategies that work multiple times. You know, consistently. But yeah, as of recording this, still has not happened. And then I brought up how I wanted to get more people involved in the channel, bring in more friends, and I kind of did that. I got Tyson involved more, which I mean, best friend, so like, yeah, that's cool. Um, in some ways, you could probably say it was a bit of a detriment to the, to the channel and getting content out for specific things. And I can't argue that. I don't want to say it. I don't want to admit it, but that I can't argue it if he said it. Cause like, here's the thing. I can tell you, my Tyson's my best friend. Been best. We've been best friends for, you know, like 12 years at this point. Um, and I love making content with him. And I love how, even though I know he didn't like recording content with me at first, how he ended up growing to love it and he wanted to be a more more involved and the last time that we saw each other he, he literally just pitched he literally pitched an idea to me and he's done that before too like so he's involved enough that he actually wants to pitch ideas and pitch things to do and being on camera etc so that's really cool but again there's some series that we ended up starting that we literally couldn't finish because like our schedules have been so different for so long that we just can't get together to record content very often so after like we get together and record like a shit ton of content for a bunch of different things, all those things end up dying. Unless it's a series that can't really die. Like Trivia Thursdays, for example. That's just when we happen to get together, if we have an idea, we record that idea. You know? So yeah. But unless, but unless it's something like that, you know, if it's a series that should feasibly end, um, uh, we've never had a series that has actually ended, you know? Um, cause like, the closest would be the Fire Promoter series, when I brought Tyson in for that, but he only was featured in two episodes, I did all the rest by myself, and I still didn't get the final episode out. And that episode will never come out because I had it recorded, but I never pulled it off of my old PS4, which died, so I can't get the footage. <laughs> Huh, yeah, so, yeah, no, um, that, that sucks. But, yeah, so, I, like I said, I kind of did it. I brought Tyson in more, and he's so, 
want to be involved more, so that's cool. Um, and we will start planning on doing things more, but I should also obviously keep working on doing things without him as well. Things that I can reasonably do by myself. And then whenever like we have things we actually want to do together, we can focus on getting those done, you know? Um, but yeah. Then after that, I had the realization that I was still technically doing the original universe at the time. And that threw me for a loop. Us. Because for some reason, I have it in my head that the original universe was basically dead already by the time I decided to rebrand. And technically speaking, that wasn't true. Because in 2018, I would make some episodes bringing it in to 2K18 at the time. I wouldn't do very much, and I wouldn't continue it. And that is when it would die. But by the time of the rebranding video, it was still technically alive, and I planned on keeping it alive at the time by doing the original idea for Universe Prequel, which was going to be a series that I started in 2K15 that was going to be set a couple years earlier from the start of uh, the original Universe. That was going to be set in... 2013, I was going to have the first show be WrestleMania 29 because I went out and bought almost all the DLC for 2K15. The only one I couldn't get was the NXT Arrival pack, which would have given me Emma, The Ascension, and JBL. And that, I think, was taken down at that point. I don't... No, no, no. I, I didn't... No, I think I prioritized getting all the other DLC. And I just missed out on that one because that wasn't included in the season pass for some reason. So yeah, I, I missed out on that one. And then by the time I could have gotten it, they delisted. They delisted all the DLC. Moving back to original, moving back to the original idea for Universe prequel. Yeah, so like I said, that was gonna start in WrestleMania 29. Um, and well, um, obviously I didn't actually do it. So yeah, that's all I can say is I didn't actually do it. And then I would reuse the I idea of a Universe prequel and doing that in S. In SVR 2010, which, again, I don't want to say it's dead, because I want I want to do more for that. I really want to continue it, but I just can't. I, I can't record. <laughs> uh, I can't record footage from the capture card, so uh, I gotta figure something. Out. I really had to figure something out with that. But regardless, regardless. I had the idea to bring Tyson in for the original idea of Universe Prequel, and at, at the time that was no, and we never worked that out, so it was gonna be just me. And then I had an, an idea to start doing some movie reviews. I did precisely one. It was a review of the Tomb Raider 2018 movie. Then I had an idea for doing some book reviews. I did none. Then I, then I had an idea for a series called What Should Have Happened, which would have been all about things I think should have happened in my original universe mode, which was very obviously inspired by MathWiz. I did one episode. So yeah, that's really it. That's all that I talked about in the rebranding video. And there was a lot that I wanted to do. Um, some stuff I did, even if not very much. There's still a lot of ideas that I... There's still a lot of ideas that I've had that I want to do, things I still would like to try and work on. But at the end of the day, the rebrand was mainly successful in just changing the channel name. But that's, yeah, that was that. That's what I said at the time. That's what I wanted to do and accomplish. And that was day 11 of the 10 year YouTube celebration today, talking and all about the rebranding video from 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, share it up on social media, do all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.